Life in Tier 7 of the English Football Pyramid started off brilliantly for Wrexham FC, although the wheels fell off pretty quickly. And now we find ourselves in mid-table. We still have no money, and the dressing room atmosphere is poor, but there are murmurings of an imminent takeover, so things could be about to improve. Although, I've got a decision to make, because I've been offered the chance to manage in the National League. So, do I keep Tier 8 to greatness as a one-club save, or... Turn it into a journeyman. Decisions, decisions. Hello everyone, welcome to the channel and welcome to Tier 8 to Greatness with Roxham FC. Could be the last time I say that because as I said in the intro, I've got a massive decision to be making in today's episode. As you can see from here, 10th place currently. Started off this season absolutely brilliantly. The last time you were with me, we beat Barwell, the team tipped to win this division. We beat them 1-0 at home and we were absolutely flying. We then we went, went on a run of three draws and then three wins, so six games more without losing in all competition, before we finally lost our unbeaten run away at Stourbridge. It was a poor performance, to be fair. As you can see from the player ratings, we were pretty damn awful, and we deserved to lose that game. Then went on a run of six games in all competition, unbeaten again. Only two of those were in the league, with victories over Nuneaton and Stratford. And then the wheels fell off dramatically. We lost to teams in the relegation zone. We lost to teams tipped to finish like near the bottom of the table. Teams that were struggling. Teams that had been on a run of losses. They, everyone beat us in that little run. Look, we just couldn't pick up anything. The dressing room atmosphere completely dropped. Like, plummeted. The morale plummeted in this team. And we were struggling. We were struggling. Can't really bring in any more, anyone else because I've got no money. I'll show you the finance situation in a minute. Um, so I held a team meeting. Well, to be fair, I had to hold a team meeting because Harley Black and a few of the more influential players in the squad came to me and said that the dressing room atmosphere is awful. It's a chore coming to work and I need to sort it out. So I called a team meeting. I tried to boost morale. Everyone was excited by my meeting. I had the, all the green bars everywhere anyway. Um, and then we went to Alba Church and we were 3-0 up at half time. I thought, yeah, the, the team the team talks work, the, the team meetings worked. We're going to turn things around here. 3-0 up at half time. And then we didn't come out for the second half. We literally did not come out for the second half. Alva Church were all over us, and with seven minutes left, they got the equaliser they deserved. It was 3 3. As we approached the final whistle, I thought, right, it's a draw. At least it's not another defeat. And then Harry Pitcher scored a penalty. We got we got awarded a penalty in the 90th minute. Harry Pitcher stepped up, smashed it home, 4 3 victory. First win since the 11th of October. And finally, finally got three points on the board. And I was hoping, yeah, we'd, we'd turn a corner here. Then we got a draw away at St. Ives. Basically, thanks to the, the fact that they went down to 10 men. They were all over us for the majority of the game. And then they went down to 10 men. We got back into the game and managed to get the draw. And then we beat Leaston in the last game, 1-0. Connor Brown getting the goal. So that leaves the league table looking like this. The media prediction had us finishing in 13th. The board want us to finish, I can't remember actually if it was mid-table or top half of the table. I think it was top half of the table. We're currently in 10th. So we're sitting in the top half of the table. Goal difference of zero. And we are only three points off of the promotion playoffs. So we still have a chance of gate crashing those promotion playoffs. Although we're only just halfway through the season. And anything can, anything can happen here really. We are, what's that? Eight points. We're eight points above the relegation zone. Three points away from the promotion playoffs. So, the next few games will determine how Roxham's season goes. Although there's no money to do anything. As I've said before, we are £663,817 overdrawn. Our wage budget is £3,636 a week, but we're spending £3,939 at the minute. So, we are... £300 a week over the transfer, uh, the wage budget, sorry. Our transfer budget is £510, but we can't adjust the budget to move any of that to wage budget because it doesn't really help. 
So what I may have to do is move some of my scouting budget into wage budget just to get us back into there, like so that we're not over our wage budget. Maybe to try and possibly bring in another player or two if needed, or just to just to satisfy the club vision, the club requirements. Because as we see, working within wage budget, we're struggling. Repair the club's financial damage, we're struggling. Not quite sure why it falls to the manager to repair a club's financial damage, by the way. Um, in real life, Man City wouldn't go to Pep Guardiola and go, Oi, mate, we're a bit skint, sort it out, would they? That's it, they'd sort it out at board level. So I'm not quite sure why that's still a thing in football manager games. You shouldn't be responsible for repairing the club's financial damage. But as you can see up there, there is a takeover in progress. Due to the club being in a takeover progress, we have altered the five-year plan. Until the situation has been resolved, we'll hold off of setting any long-term plans. The only issue with the takeover is it's by a supporters trust. The supporters trust have got together and are looking at buying the club. So it's not a tycoon takeover. I don't think it's going to be one of those takeovers where they inject a shitload of money and help us to completely turn things around. I think basically what it'll be is it'll be a supporters trust takeover, clear the debt, and that's it. Because there's no money coming into this club. Like, you look at the profit and loss. Lost nearly 21,000 last month. Lost 141,788 pounds this season. Lost 138,237 pounds last season. We've got 4,000 coming in this month, and we're spending 25,000. Gate receipts are only just under 1,200 pounds. Merchandising of 68 pounds. There's no season tickets, no TV revenue. We've not got any players to really sell. We get a £108 grant and an £1,800 of other fundraising, as well as £1,200 matchday income on things like burgers and beer and stuff like that, I suppose. And we get 25 quid from corporate facilities. Sponsors, we have one kit sponsor, and they pay £5,000 a season. So that's eaten up straight away. Like we said, their expenditure is twenty-five grand a month. That there, their two seasons worth of sponsorship doesn't even cover a month's worth of outgoings. If we go back to the fixture list, you'll see our home attendance is 194, 189, 244, 164. It's not enough money to keep coming in. So if I stay at this club, the aim would be get a takeover. Hopefully they'll be able to clear the debt, maybe even inject a little bit of cash. I'm not sure how much. And then get promoted. Get promoted get a little bit more money coming in, maybe get a little bit of TV revenue because you're in the National League North or South. And hopefully it would be a big leap forward for the club. But, as I said, I might not be here because I have been offered a National League job. And although I said at the start of this series that it would be a one-club save and if I got the sack at Wroxham, Tier 8 to Greatness would be over... I'm thinking that Tier 8 to Greatness could be the really good name for a journeyman. Um, because I started in Tier 8. The Greatness could be me getting to Greatness rather than me taking Roxham to Greatness. Um, although there are a lot of pros and cons for the opportunity that I have been given. I was offered an interview. I undenied about it. I took the interview and then I was offered the job. I delayed it by a week. We played one game in that week. We, we beat least of one nil. But now they want an answer. I don't think I'll be able to delay it anymore. And the team that I've been approached by is Gateshead. In the National League North. They want me to avoid relegation. And I'll show you in a minute that they're not even in the relegation zone. When they offered me the job, they were in the relegation zone. They've had a couple of decent results since then. So they're not even in the relegation zone. They want to be competitive in the FA Cup. They want to challenge for the FA Trophy. Work within the wage budget, grow the club's reputation, play high-tempo pressing football and don't give players over the age of 33 more than a year's contract, which I don't really sign players over the age of 33 anyway. The issues that I have. In regards career advancement, jumping up two tiers of the English football pyramid and having a chance of possibly turning relegation fodder into a promotion candidate because I like, like I said I'll show you the league tables and stuff and the club at, as a whole in a moment but there's a possibility that I could turn them into promotion contenders they don't have a great deal of money they're also in the red 
um, 16.75 thousand per week wage budget. It's a decent wage budget, I suppose. I'm not quite sure how much they're spending at the minute, but we'll have a look in a moment. One of the biggest issues is that Gateshead is a long, long way from Wroxham. It's hundreds and hundreds of miles away. And they're only offering me £25 a week more to take this job than what I'm already earning. I'm on £400 a week now. I'm settled in Wroxham. I've been there for a few years. The family lived there. You know what I mean? Everything's all cushy. How many of you, how many people in real life, just for the sake of career progression, would move your family hundreds and hundreds of miles away for an extra £25 a week? Because in keeping with trying to keep some sense of realism in this save, I need to think, would I do that? But let's just go and have a look at Gateshead and see if I can convince myself one way or the other before the end of this episode. So, Gateshead Football Club. They play at Gateshead International Stadium. They have a capacity of 11,800. Average stadium condition, very good pitch condition. Finances, you can't see it because I'm in the way, but the finances are okay. Bank balance is in the red, though. £483,093 in the red. They've got a value as a club of 164,173. Their wage bill is just under 18,000 pounds a week. So the wage budget I'm being offered doesn't cover their current wage bill by the looks of it. It's something to think about, isn't it? But if we look at their league position, you can see that Gateshead are currently 15th in the league. They're only 8 points off of 7th place, which is a place in the promotion playoffs. Three points outside the relegation zone, though. So that's why the board want me to avoid relegation if I take the job. They've won their last two games, beating Ebbs Fleet and South Shields 1-0 apiece. And they've got, they've got adequate training facilities. So they're not... In terms of finance, their stadium conditions average. At Roxham, it's very poor. Training facilities are adequate. At Roxham, they're very poor. So everything's that little bit better. Just that little bit better. Although they play two tiers above Roxham and they've got a chance of getting themselves into a like into a promotion battle. I know like things weren't working out for them and they've finished mid-table the last few seasons, but there's that possibility of getting themselves into a promotion fight with the right manager. It's a really, really tough decision. Really, really tough decision. Um, on the one hand, do I stay at Wroxham, where there's an imminent takeover or a possible imminent takeover that could inject a little bit of cash into the club? Do I stay there and see if I can continue the work that I've done? I mean, it took us three years to get us get up into tier seven. I might be able to get us out of tier seven in one season. Um, the board are relatively pleased with my management of the team. The supporters overall are quite pleased. Um, the issues I have is we're struggling with money. We can't really compete against the top teams because we don't have that money to bring in the top players. Every time I try to sign a really, really good player who I think could be an absolute superstar for us, someone else comes in, gives them more money or it's a better reputation club or something like that and we lose them, so that's frustrating. Um, but the cons of actually leaving this club mean that I'd be leaving for £25 a week more to a place that's miles, hundreds and hundreds of miles away. And I do try to keep some sort of sense of realism. I know a lot of you are probably out there going, it's a bloody computer game, just go. But it's, I want to keep realism. And also, if I can get Roxham promoted this season, we move up to tier six of the English Football League pyramid. Gateshead could take on the wrong manager and get relegated. So they may drop to tier six of the English Football League pyramid. So next season, we could be at the same level. That's one of the things that I really, really, really don't know about. 
It's a tough one. It's a tough one. I know not nothing's happened in this episode, really. I'm literally using this episode to tell you lot that I'm having a really, really, really hard time deciding where to take this series. Will I start Roxham or will I go to Gateshead? Someone help me make a decision. Please. Right, that's enough for this episode. Um I still ain't made a decision. I know, I know, to anyone that's tuned in to watch a live comms game or see matches being played, etc, etc. Not a lot's happened in this episode. I've basically just rabbited on about the decision I've got to make. But I've brought you up to date with where Roxham are in the league. I've shown you their recent form. So everyone knows how, what where the land lies at the minute. Everyone knows what's happening We've had a little look at Gateshead, um, the team that I could possibly go and join as manager. I really, really don't know what to do. Um, when I started this series, I definitely thought I want to get Roxham all the way up the leagues and then see how we get on, you know? But the financial situation, the fact that every single season I lose half my team, I have to sign more. I have a problem with signing the better players because they end up going elsewhere. Not going to be able to further my coaching career unless we get become like a league team or whatever. Our facilities, etc. If we did manage to climb up a couple of divisions, we'll probably have to move ground and stuff anyway. So there's a lot to there's a lot to ponder, so to speak. Um, and I will hopefully have made a decision pretty soon. Well, I've got to make a decision before the next episode because I can't press continue until I have made a decision. So. Um, hopefully you will all join me again soon. Hit the like button if you enjoyed this episode. I know that a lot of you won't I won't have enjoyed it, but some of you may enjoy the actual storytelling process along the way. I'm hoping that that's what people do enjoy because I'm trying to tell a story here. I'm trying to build a narrative. I'm trying to have like a real manager career and think about those decisions that those decisions that you would make to further your career or for the benefit of your family or the money wise or whatever. So I'm trying to keep realism. I'm trying to build a story and I'm hoping that you're enjoying it. And I'm hoping that you will join me again next time. If you're not subscribed to the channel and you would like to, please hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell to know when the next episode is going to be released. Because in the next episode, we'll find out if I'm still at Roxham or if I'm at Gateshead. Until then, take care. Bye bye for now.